bringing you the latest news from Bucks County. This is the Courier Times Update with Rachel Cannell. This Courier Times Update is brought to you by St. Mary Medical Center in Langhorne, PA. It's your health. Expect more. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rachel Cannelli, reporting from the Courier Times newsroom with what you need to know in our community on this Thursday, July 18th. A Warrington woman who had been missing since July 4th has been found safe in Chicago. Police said 21-year-old Ashley Keller and her boyfriend Romulo Perez Catalan of Warminster were found Wednesday. Keller appeared to be there of her own free will. Perez Catalan was arrested and authorities said he will be extradited to Pennsylvania on drug charges. Authorities had issued a federal warrant for him because he was charged with burglary earlier this month. Reporter Matt Coughlin has this story at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. Former Bucks County resident Francine Wheeler has been advocating federal and state gun reform laws since she lost her six-year-old son in the Sandy Hook massacre seven months ago. Wheeler testified before the Pennsylvania Judiciary Committee Wednesday that she believes conducting gun buying background checks would make communities safer. Current law requires universal background checks for handguns but leaves a giant loophole for long guns. It doesn't make sense. If we all agree dangerous individuals shouldn't have guns, then shouldn't we take at least the most basic steps to ensure that they can't get around the system by purchasing from someone who's not a licensed gun dealer or simply going online? Will this stop every criminal? Obviously not. Will it save lives? I think it will. Reporter Natasha Lindstrom has the full story with video on our website. A Bucks County jury as early as this afternoon could get the case of the William Tennant music teacher accused of making sexually harassing comments and inappropriately touching students. Fellow teachers and students defended Tyrone Dinkins, calling him playful and caring. Dinkins also testified and emphatically denied touching any teens in a sexual way or making sexually harassing comments to students. Reporter Lori Mason Schrader will be bringing you the latest updates online. When we return, we'll take a look at how some area students are learning science in the summer months. Some of our local elementary school students are keeping up with their scientific education through a free GlaxoSmithKline program called Science in the Summer. Kids at the Village Library of Wrightstown constructed their own pulleys as they learned about gears and simple machines. You take your inclined plane and put two together and you've got your simple machine, a wedge. Each class is about an hour long and hosts 15 kids at a time. Kids are exposed to microscopes, they're exposed to the pulley system, uh, they're exposed to materials that they may never encounter at the elementary level anyway. And um, that in itself piques an interest. Remember we talked about the well, the well that turned with a crank is a wheel. When they're in school year regularly, their teacher may make a reference and it'll click that, oh, I did that. In its 27th year, Science in the Summer is offered at public libraries all across Bucks County through August. Reporters Alex Finney and Chris English and photographer Art Gentile have the full story with photos and video at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. Temple's head men's basketball coach Fran Dunphy has been coaching since 1971 and for the last 20 years he has come every year to Tony Chapman's red and blue camp at Holy Ghost Prep in Ben Salem. His message over the years hasn't changed and he looks to impart to young people the importance of preparation and being thankful for what they have. When I was a young student I wasn't real good. Uh, as a student, I was uh, way too distracted. You know, you want to have them do their homework. You know, when they're prepared to go into class, that feels good. You know, you get your hand in the air. We really wind up talking more about life than we do about basketball, and we'll see if it has a, a specific impact. You know, it's one of those deals where five years from now, maybe somebody will wake up and say, you know what, yeah, I remember what Coach Dunphy said. Well, I guess from the kid's standpoint, it's it's a high-profile coach, you know, somebody whose team they're going to watch, they can watch him on TV. You know, from, from my standpoint, I, and I think you can see on how he, he approaches the kids. It's not just X's and O's. It's it's things about life, 
uh, and respect and appreciation. And I think those things are extremely important. It was awesome because you get to like go with the coach at Temple and it was just really cool to have the experience to see him and talk to him. Well, I took out of a lot of things, how to set, stand up straight and be in triple threat position, how to always move the ball. Don't always take the first shot, always move it before when you get the best shot. You can see reporter Jen Wielgus' full video on our website. Now here's a look at what we're working on in the newsroom. Pensbury School District is partnering with Barnes & Noble to encourage kids to read during the summer. Reporter Joan Hellyer will tell you what they're doing. The Langhorne Borough Business Association continues with its summer concert series. Reporter Christian Menno explains why organizers want to keep the popular event the borough's best kept secret. And finally, the Bucks County Blues Society picnic will be held at Snipes Farm this Saturday. Our very own Andy Weinberg will tell you who to expect. Keep checking BucksCountyCourierTimes.com for updates on all of these stories, or you can follow me on Twitter for your latest local news. I'm Rachel Kennelly. Thanks for watching. Have a good Thursday.